ANSYS topology optimization, example two. This is the geometry of the topology optimization problem, and this is the result. And for the material, I chose structural steel. And for the mesh, I used two millimeters mesh size. Uh, originally, I used one millimeter, but the program ran over one hour and stopped. So I chose a rougher or coarser mesh. You can try a finer mesh. It is better to try to use finer mesh. So I mesh the geometry like this. And for the static structure analysis, this is the fixture or the boundary condition. And the loading is 500 newtons. And the deformation and also the stress. And I use serial mode to connect structure steel, uh, structure analysis and topology optimization analysis in serial mode. So in topology optimization, for the setting, I took the default. And for the region, I have only one part. So uh, I took the default as all bodies. The constraint will be to retain 25% of the volume. That means take away 75% of mass and leaving 25% material. And I chose that the minimum size of the member to be 10 millimeters. And the objective is to minimize the compliance or maximize the rigidity. And the solution, I chose topology density and topology elemental density. So I ran the solution, and the result is like this. And it is a pretty good result. But the mesh is not very fine. I rather that the mesh is finer, but for now, I'll, took, uh, I'll take the 2 millimeter mesh. And for the topology, I can export either in text file, ANSYS file, or STL file. And when I save the STL file, I can manipulate the file in CAD software like this. So in other words, the result of ANSYS topology optimization can be exported to CAD system and then we can manipulate with the geometry. So this is the part two of topology optimization in ANSYS.